I first found my discomfort zone by mistake actually. I was thrown into it when I was 33 years old. I was asked to edit a magazine for the very first time and I'd never been an editor before, so it was terrifying. I had no idea what I was doing. We only had two members of staff, we had a very small budget, and we had a very short amount of time, six weeks from memory, in which to build this magazine. The other thing is we had to sell 100,000 copies from the very first issue. Because of that, and because of the time limit and the lack of resources, what happened is I was thrown into my discomfort zone. But rather than being overwhelmed by fear and feeling that I was out of control and out of my depth, I actually, because I had no other choice, I had to feel invigorated and challenged by the situation in front of me. I was forced very much to rely on my gut instinct. You know, if I'd have had lots of time and, and a huge number of people in which to turn to for advice, I'm not sure I would have made some of the big, bold decisions that I did. And I think one of the other things was, you know, I came across a lot of obstacles. I kind of, I cruised through them. When I say cruised through them, I, I kind of banged through these obstacles and what I found was I was kind of bold in a way I didn't think I was before. I found I was incredibly resilient. I found when I was forced to become a leader that actually I, I could do it. And I think when you know what your discomfort zone is and when you know the challenges that lie ahead, the best that you can do is you can identify what are the things that you are really, really scared of. You can come up with a plan about how to combat that. And when you have a plan, you feel in control. And all anybody wants is the illusion of control. Um, I call these brief moments of discomfort. Identify the brief moments of discomfort in any uncomfortable situation and then figure out a three-point plan about how you're going to deal with them. And then things which seemed uncomfortable will be as easy as breathing.